question, can you really improve your GFR by one stage or even two just by adding some seeds to your eating plan? Today, we will answer exactly this question. You're gonna like it. Kathleen here, a lot changed in the way kidney disease is managed in the last few years. And it's very important to keep ourselves updated. The world of medicine is slowly going from you can never improve with CKD to improvements are possible at any CKD stage, four and five included, if certain conditions are met. But this is a very slow process. Many doctors are still stuck with the old way of thinking and this means that you should get informed if you want to improve, especially about the renal diet. Because that's where we have seen the biggest changes and also because eating foods that help the kidneys instead of burdening them is key to improve, says science. The study you see here is part of the reason why we are slowly transitioning from a mentality of forbidding all patients from eating so many healthy veggies and then watching them going into end-stage renal failure to recommending people to eat more veggies. We know today that eating more veggies is a very underrated way patients can keep or even improve their GFR. Speaking of underrated ways of helping your kidneys, today's video is all about the healthiest seeds you can safely add to your renal diet. Today we will see a seed that reduces oxalate absorption, a seed that fights inflammation, and a seed that may drastically lower your creatinine levels. Now a question before we begin. Do you eat seeds regularly? Why or why not? Let's talk about it in comment section. Today, however, I think I will convince many of you guys to add at least a couple different seeds to your eating plants. You see, certain seeds possess extraordinary properties, powerful health benefits that extend far beyond their mere nutritional values. Question, what seeds are a must in a renal diet? Let's see the first one. This is a very underrated seed that comes with a unique health benefit. It actually reduces oxalate absorption, making it ideal for those in the more advanced stages of CKD. I'm talking about pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seeds are one of the most commonly consumed types of seeds in the world and I believe you should consider them for your eating plan. The reason is a study conducted in the Uba province in Thailand where many people suffer from kidney stones. Here, researchers were able to prove that just by eating more pumpkin seeds, people were able to decrease their risk for calcium oxalate stones. Amazing benefit! Yes, many people are told to avoid seeds because they are rich in oxalate when you can actually eat seeds to reduce your risk for hyperoxaluria and kidney stones. And this is not all. Another study linked pumpkin seeds consumption to significant improvements in cholesterol and diastolic pressure. It's worth mentioning that this study was conducted on postmenopausal women and that pumpkin seed oil was used. However, this does not take away from the substantial health advantages offered by pumpkin seeds. If you want to add these seeds to your eating plan, make sure to lightly roast them. This will enhance their taste and decrease their phytic acid or phosphorus content. Okay guys, up next, a seed that you may never have imagined would actually be beneficial for your health. Yes, this one may come as a real surprise. Apple seed. Wait, wait, wait. What? Are apple seeds actually good for you? Aren't they dangerous? Well, according to recent research, apple seeds may not just be good for you. In fact, these seeds could be among the most potent detoxifying foods available. Yes, these scientists discovered that you can get a significant amount of healthy probiotics, great to help the body's natural detoxification process, from the core of apples. But should you actually eat them? 
Well, only one way to find out. Stay tuned here in Double Okini, subscribe and set the notification bell to all because I've made a full video about the best natural probiotic sources including apple seeds and it's going to be live this Sunday. Don't miss it. Up next, a seed that's the best source of one of those vitamins you can never get in a renal diet. Before that, a question that may get asked. My doctor told me to avoid seeds. Are you sure seeds are safe in a renal diet? Today, some seeds are considered a superfood when it comes to kidney health. As I was saying recently, a lot changed in the way eating plants for people with kidney issues are created. And the biggest changes are those concerning phosphorus and potassium. These two minerals are the reason why nephrologists use to tell kidney disease sufferers to avoid seeds altogether. And while it is still better to only eat seeds in moderation, I don't think you should completely avoid them anymore because you see today the aim of a renal diet is to help you improve your creatinine and gfr levels not just to limit potassium and phosphorus consumption and this happened because science found out that eating more potassium and phosphorus from vegetables does not automatically translate into higher serum levels this is especially true for potassium Dietary potassium accounts for just a small amount of the potassium in your body. Not much of the potassium you get from, you know, bananas or even seeds is actually absorbed by the body. The biggest part is excreted in the stool. This means that unless your potassium levels are already too high, consuming these foods will likely provide way more health benefits than drawbacks. Now on the other hand, those with potassium levels that are actually too high should be careful. But avoiding bananas or seeds won't help them. Just finding and solving the actual cause of the problem will help. Phosphorus is a little bit different, especially because foods rich in phosphorus can actually harm you. But the thing that matters the most when it comes to phosphorus is the source. You see, just like for potassium, the human body doesn't absorb phosphorus from vegetables very well. The biggest part is directly excreted. So for example, when you see that 28 grams of pumpkin seeds have 333 milligrams of phosphorus, think more about 100 milligrams of phosphorus. That won't really cause you a problem. Now, this is not true, however, for animal-based sources of phosphorus. We absorb nearly the 100% of the phosphorus from animal sources. So yeah, follow a low protein diet if you want to protect your kidneys from phosphorus. Time now to see what seed you can eat to get a vitamin that can help with kidney health. There is one vitamin that you can't get from many foods and that you are also not supposed to supplement if you have kidney disease. However, in a study on people with kidney disease, this vitamin was observed producing huge improvements in creatinine levels when obtained from foods. Yes, this study linked a higher consumption of foods rich in vitamin E to a significant reduction in creatinine levels. This happens because vitamin E is a very powerful antioxidant. But you can get it from supplements and it's not the easiest to get in a renal diet. There's only one excellent source of this vitamin. I'm talking about sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds have a mild nutty flavor and a firm but tender texture. They're often roasted to enhance the flavor, though you can also buy them raw. They're delicious and healthy. Sunflower seeds are also rich in magnesium, great to lower blood pressure, and in a compound called chlorogenic acid which has diabetes fighting properties. But their main benefit is another. In approximately 28 grams or about 1 ounce of dry roasted sunflower seeds, there is about 7.4 milligrams of vitamin E. This is roughly half of the daily recommended intake for this essential nutrient. And as I was saying, this small amount of seeds can make a difference in the long term. The reason is the huge antioxidant potential vitamin E has. You see, oxidative stress is a cause of kidney damage present in all patients. Finding foods that fight oxidative stress is a must to protect our kidneys. And yes, certain seeds are unique because they can provide you with some nutrients that you can't get anywhere else in similar amounts. Up next, a seed that contains a special type of essential fatty acids, chia seeds. Chia seeds are somehow special for the renal diet because you really want the omega-3s they have. 
Research says that eating chia seeds regularly may improve heart health, reduce cholesterol levels, and even decrease the risk for developing diabetes and heart disease. And the reason why chia seeds are so good for you is their content of omega-3 fatty acids. Incredibly healthy for people with kidney problems. Scientists were even able to find a link between omega-3 supplementation and reduced risk of end-stage renal disease. So consider adding these seeds to your diet. And also when it comes to omega-3s, consider a supplement because you can't eat large amount of seeds every day, unfortunately. The reason is simple. Protein. Okay, now you may ask, are protein from vegetables safe? Are they any better than animal protein? Protein from vegetables are different from animal protein, but we still absorb about 80% to 90% of protein from vegetables. So we can't, you know, just eat all these seeds we want in a day. Because while potassium and phosphorus may not be as big of an issue as previously believed, protein definitely is. This means that you should still limit plant-based protein intake if you have kidney disease stage 3, 4, or 5. And while there are studies that indicate that plant protein is less damaging for the kidneys because it's less acid-forming than animal protein, you still need to limit it. Now guys, I went a lot more in depth about the topic of plant-based protein in my video up here and also in the description watch it now to know more. Because I really believe you need to understand how to safely incorporate seeds in your diet. Because there are some seeds with amazing benefits. Now a seed that you absolutely want in your diet. Seriously, if you are going to add just one seed, it should be this one. Flax seed. This small seed is often recommended to those following a renal diet because it comes with many health benefits. Flax seed is rich in fiber, alpha linolenic acid, and lignans, a type of polyphenols with antioxidant properties. This is why flax seed can lower your blood pressure, says science. It can also help with sugar levels and cholesterol. What's more incredible is that, in a study of people suffering from lupus nephritis, those eating flaxseed every day for just four weeks were able to lower their protein real levels significantly as well as their creatinine levels. And researchers believe that any kidney patient may benefit from the anti-inflammatory properties of this small seed. But remember that to add it to your diet, you need to crush or green flaxseed. Okay guys, time now to see which seed was used to help people with kidney disease lower the stage of CKD they were in. In this trial, there were 6 patients in stage 4, 11 in stage 3, and just 6 in stage 2. But after 6 months of using an antioxidant derived from this seed, only 2 patients were still in stage 4. Only 2 out of 6. 11 patients were now in stage 2 of kidney disease. Yes, there is one seed that can actually do this in just 6 months. I'm talking about grape seeds. Yes, the small seeds in grapes that we usually just discard have an antioxidant benefit so powerful they have been used in a trial to drastically improve GFR in people in stage 2, 3, and 4. Now, what they used in this trial was not just grape seeds. They used an extract called grape seed extract or GSE. This is a dietary supplement made by removing, drying, and pulverizing the bitter tasting seeds of grapes. Now, if you are considering trying this powerful extract, I've made a full video about GSE you can watch to get informed about it. It's up here and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.